Okay, so here's our uh, semi-dodgy, but still not too bad test arrangement we've got going on. So, I'm not changing the settings on this, so this will go all the way down to 9 volts, but the BMS will drop this out somewhere around 12 volts, hopefully. It's pretty much fully charged, sitting at 16.4. Uh, that's a watt-hour meter. That's our load, the Milwaukee battery charger. Might as well do something useful with our power rather than just send it off into the atmosphere as heat. I have gone and set the power supply over here to about 10 volts. And that's connected over here. So what will happen is... Um, okay, turn the amps a lot, long way down. When the BMS drops... It should keep the... No, we need to go under 10. We need to go down to 9 something. Because it will keep the memory of the... Um, what hour meter there? So, we'll turn it on. See what happens when we start charging. Okay, it's going to do the 16 power battery there first. Twenty-two watts, eighty-six watts. Now, something I didn't take completely into consideration. Eighty-six watts is only five amps. <laughs> Because we're at higher voltage, we're not at 12, we're at 16, we've got 4 volts uh, headway on a normal battery, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll go to work and I'll flatten all my smaller batteries today, so we can come back and put them on this. Yeah, 90 watt load, 5 amps, constant draw. It's a nice low C rate test. Uh, what are they? They're 100 watt hours each. No, only 72 watt hours. I can't remember. Yeah, 108, so they're 72. Yeah, because 18 volts and 12 volts. Um, yeah, and we'll just let it do its thing. If anything gets out of spec, I'm sure it'll figure it out but everything should be pretty well balanced I did charge it up nice and slow with the balance charger and it'll tell us our um, watts amps and what have you 0.1 of an amp hour and 1.8 watt hours just let it go do its thing little Victor on will cruise along all day running batteries on the charge like this and yeah like I say when it gets to the point when the BMS shuts off, this shouldn't restart, and uh, it's happy days. We'll have a kilowatt hour rage, kilowatt hour rating. I'm hoping around 2.5, 2.6. If that's the case, I buy a bigger BMS, and then we put this in a rolly case and start using it. I'll continue this video when we're uh, ready to look at some numbers, guys, and uh, we'll go from there. Even if I. Uh, run out of batteries to charge, we could probably run the laptop or the laptop and the screen maybe, do something like that and have a constant draw on it, but we'll start with this and see where we end up. Thanks for watching. Alright then, we're going to have to call it a day, because the BMS doesn't seem to do the whole disconnect thing. And we're probably getting pretty four in series, we're down to 10.2 volts, so we're Definitely too low per cell. Oh, that's what, that is with load on it, but uh, what do we got? Remember our amp hours are sets every 65. 1920 watt hours. Right. Let's just check these voltages. Two point five, 
5 volts, so that's 2.5 again. Continue battery 2 and battery 3. 2.5 mm, 2.6 between battery 3 battery 4 so I don't want to discharge that anymore I think that's enough um, so now what we've got to do is charge it back up and to charge it back up I'm going to use the lipo charger and um, see what that rates it at when we're done basically we've got to put 180 odd amp hours back in this So we'll set the uh, LiPo charger up on this power supply. Actually, I don't really want to tie that power supply up for all that time. I might set it up on a different power supply up on the bench as well. We'll charge it back up and see what we come to. I'll show you the setup in a sec. Clean a bit of stuff off the bench and make some room. Okay, then got this 40 amp PowerTech power supply here. I'm going to feed it back in through the same power ports at uh, 15 amps with the lipo charger and voltage is a bit low for its start so we'll go 3S just to get it to boost the voltage up for a sec. The beauty of these things is they do 40 amps. Got three or four of these. So if it'll let us do for us. Sometimes it'll fire up and start charging at 3S and then switch to 4S when it realises it's actually a bigger battery. Give it a minute and see what happens. But yeah, pretty uh, happy with that test. Um, just under 2 kilowatt hours usable. Uh, we'll give it a couple of cycles and see if we can't get it better. Uh, I don't think it was fully charged to be honest with you. It did stop a little bit shy. The other thing we can do is go nickel metal hydride charge and manual and then it can just rely on the um, high voltage cut out of this thing and we'll give it a hit and see what it does All right, we'll come back after it's been charged for a bit and we'll have a look Yeah, we're good and charging now. A little bit of warmth in the BMS, it's obviously doing something. 15 amps going in at 14.3 volts. 7 amps down in half an hour. That's a big power supply. And that'll be charged up tomorrow sometime. Hopefully by the morning. Oh no, it's 11 o'clock now, so no, probably not by the morning. It's a good... Uh, 10, 12 hours, 12 hour job basically. We'll see what the charger says when we're done in amp hours. Any recommendations on a better LiPo charger? I need a few because I'm going to buy a lot of these batteries. So, 
Yeah, we've got to figure out what we're doing with all these batteries in this place. Because uh, energy storage is something I need more of. Doing a lot more work uh, straight out of the vehicle with Milwaukee stuff and that. So having more stored energy is never going to be a bad thing. Thanks for watching. I'll update you after we do a few cycles. I'll do a second test after this is completely charged up and we'll see what we get. Catch us then. We'll do another one. So 1920 watt hours was our first test. Uh, for the next one, I will put a constant load on this of about 100 watts. Get it done really quick and um, see if that makes any difference. And if we do a third one, if it's increasing, we won't. But if it's in, if it doesn't increase from the first one on the second one, we'll do a third one on a really low rate, like 30 watts, and see how much we get out of that on the watt-hour meter. So, yeah. It's a little bit rudimentary testing, but, uh, yeah, we'll see what we end up with and go from there. Thanks for watching.